was a, I guess in a word, it's, it's hectic. It um, involves a, you know, a lot of traveling, but whether it's Japan, Russia, the US, Australia, there's a few places in the world that feel really like home to me. I mean, the places that I feel really comfortable in, let's say in Tokyo, and one of them is to visit a shop, a particular shop, which is called Tokyo Hands. There's a few restaurants in Tokyo, one in particular I love, which is called Tora Kuma Mogura. Paris, I sort of always associate Paris with food. And as I said, there are some restaurants that I love to go to. Um, Chez Georges, for example, and uh, maybe, you know, 21, or um, Chez Omar, you know. There's a few fantastic shops in London that I always love to go to, like Lob, you know, the shoe shop which is kind of like going back in time, you know, like stepping into a kind of time machine. Um, but when I'm in New York, I spend a lot of time with friends, and uh, I tend to spend quite a bit of time in and around um, one of the Gagosian gallery. Going out in New York, I tend really to go to restaurants and things. There's one club that I've, you know, probably been to more than many others, and that's called uh, Beatrice. It's, uh, it's run by a couple of friends of mine who are also involved with a place in Paris called The Baron. And, um, and of course, there's a baron in Tokyo. But there is one shop in Milan that I always go to called G. Lorenzi, and it's in Via Monte Napoleone. Anyone that's been to Milan will, I'm sure, have been to this shop that sells um, everything uh, from sort of men's shaving stuff which, as you can see, I don't do very much, but it's just a very bizarre collection of, of objects, but they're all incredibly beautifully made. What I love most about um, the, the, you know, globetrotting lifestyle is the, is the sense of freedom sort of gives me. You know, just, it just helps me to feel sort of independent. I suppose my greatest luxury is to be able to, you know, ultimately to do what I want, when I want, and and how I want. But there are certain material things <laughs> that um, that do signify luxury for me, as well as uh, you know things like being able to travel and being able to stay in the places that I like to stay at when I'm abroad, and um, being able to eat well, and being able to to drink things that I that I love to that I love to consume. And being able to drink certain things, like, like Dom Perignon, for example, when I feel like it. Yeah, I think in a way we have arrived at a time when, when um, luxury and design are somehow more democratic, or at least more accessible for people. If this is a, an object that I designed recently for Dom Perignon. I call it the, the black box. And um, what it is, is a kind of a, a, a firmly insulated container for a bottle of Dom Perignon. The fact that you can lift this, lift, lift this thing up, carry it around with you, it, and it's a bit like a suitcase. I mean, it, it says a lot about travel, really. You know, it says a lot about kind of mobility. So, you know, to combine that sense of um, portability with an object like Dom Perignon is a, is a really kind of contemporary thing. You know, it's super cool.